Residents of Kharkiv waking up to another day of shelling as the latest strike on Ukraine damaged dozens of homes, leaving broken glass and debris scattered throughout this neighborhood. This woman now left surveying the damage to her home, she says. There are no military vehicles here. It's the center of Kharkiv. People live here. It's usually very quiet, no military objects nearby. I have no idea why our yard was shelled. Ukraine claims that the Russian attack in the east looked like an attempt to force Ukraine to divert troops from the south, where Kyiv's forces are trying to retake its territory. In Donbass, several cities were hit by Russian strikes this morning. One missile struck the city center of Kramatorsk, located 20 kilometers from the closest front line. This witness said she heard two explosions at four in the morning. One was very powerful, the second one a little bit less. We live in the city center, so we heard it quite well. Meantime, newly released satellite images from an attack shows heavy damage along with a destroyed aircraft at a Russian military airfield in Crimea. Russia has denied aircrafts were damaged and said the explosions were accidental. Ukraine has not publicly claimed responsibility. Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky continues to urge Western countries to support Ukraine's war efforts with weapons, money and sanctions against what he called Russia's nuclear terrorism. Today, saying this. Russia has become a terrorist country and is holding nuclear power stations hostage, blackmailing everyone with a potential disaster. The comments coming after Russia and Ukraine accuse each other this week of shelling Europe's largest nuclear power plant in Ukraine, currently under Russian occupation. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres has called for an immediate end to military activity near the nuclear plant, citing international safety concerns. Melissa Nakavali, City News.